welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to wish you a happy Christmas and I hope you're enjoying your holidays and that you're safe. For you who are new, my name is Sophie and I'm doing reviews on perfumes mainly here on this channel. I'm so happy to see that this perfume family is growing little by little. Okay, not so much, but little by little and I'm very happy to see that. I have a small, classy family. I've been away for a while, for you that have noticed, maybe not, but it's been because I've been very busy with two full-time jobs, if that makes sense. And no, it doesn't make sense to have two full-time jobs. So that's why I quit one of them. So now I'm back to normal, which is good because now I can do this video for you that I've been trying to do for a while. We're gonna not exactly dive into, but we're gonna at least scratch the surface of the Collection Privé by Maison Dior. So that's a private line of Christian Dior. And this is a unisex line and it a, has a wide range of perfumes. So I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I picked a few. I picked a few. So yeah, we're gonna try a few of them. Some that are very, very popular and some that are less popular and also my favorite. That's also my signature set nowadays. We're gonna start with Feb Delicious, and you probably already heard a lot about this perfume because it's very popular and often recommended. And this perfume in the beginning doesn't give me the wow effect that it does in the dry down. In the beginning, it's very earthy and woody, while uh, it has a lot of praline, chocolate, vanilla, so it's very, uh, sweet in the dry down and it's also a pure gourmand perfume I think and this is I class this as a unisex perfume because I really think it could work both ways I will really enjoy this on a man as well and this is a more winter perfume night perfume yeah so maybe not so much in the summer months. And next up we have Bois d'Argent. Okay, don't listen so much to my French, just watch the screen instead, just in case. And this is a more powdery, leather, soft leather, violet perfume. I think this would work good on a man and also for a woman, yeah. I find this to be very unisex. And it's a more everyday perfume, so it's not it's nothing wow to it, and it's not something that's gonna grab your attention so much. It's not screamy loud perfume, it's quite soft and smooth and it stays on you all day. And next one is Souffle de Sweet. Yeah, and this one reminds me a lot of the previous one and the difference here is that it has a little bit more white florals, so this one leans more feminine. So otherwise I find them very similar and same category like, uh, like in, for an everyday kind of vibe, going to work, going to meet friends for coffee and hanging around home. Yeah, so it's a very easy go-to perfume, but more feminine than the other one, Boy Star Yes. The next one is J Dior. This was early called Gris Montagne. So this is the same perfume, just same name. And this is extremely popular. And I find this one to be a little more earthy and woody. It has a bit of rose, patchouli and amber. So it's a little darker than, uh, for instance, Souffle de Suis. So a little bit Slightly more masculine, I would say. So this is definitely a unisex perfume. Of course, I'm gonna save my favorite for last. Yes. Before we do, and we have um, let's see, Amber Nuit, which is also very very popular. And this one is a more sweet amber with a touch of rose. And this is a bit darker, so this is more like a winter and night perfume, or for the cooler months, I think, and this also more masculine. So of the perfumes I mentioned so far, I find uh, Feb Delicieuse and Amber Nuit to be the more masculine ones, uh, which also work on women, but um, more masculine than the other ones, I would say, because these unisex perfumes I find many, many, very often, not only Maison Dior, but 
also the other perfumes to be more feminine. So out of these, I would go for those two if I was a man or if I was gonna buy something for a man. So my favorite then is Yasmin Dezon. This one. Okay, I already wear it. It's so nice to just spray when I'm doing the videos. Okay, the thing I've learned about doing videos so this is my first year as a YouTuber and I started to do videos in January this year and what happened throughout these months is that I find regular perfumes I find in the stores boring nowadays which also causes trouble into my wallet because now I start to like these kind of perfumes that you don't smell every day and um, when it comes to these perfumes here, uh, I don't think like even half of the perfumes here are worth that money because I think you can find some perfumes for less, of course, uh, unless they are very long lasting and have something distinct, distinctive to it. I think then they may be worth it, but unless they don't, don't waste your time or your money. This perfume, just mean the Sange, is a more fruity floral kind of sweet yeah sweet fruity floral perfume that's very summery uplifting it makes me happy it has peach apricot it has lots of jasmine and it's very fresh it's extremely feminine and i always get compliments for this and i think i can wear this all year round because I live in Spain and I'm gonna show you here some pictures how it looks today. We are in, like in end of December and we still have like temperatures in the 20s. So of course I can wear this this time of the year, like all year. Um, but I think even in the cooler uh, countries, I think you can wear this one because it's very uplifting, it's still sweet and it brightens up the day, as I normally say, when you have something more cheerful in a dull moment, in a rainy day, I mean, this perfume will be like something refreshing. And as I mentioned earlier, this is also my signature perfume now. I will probably wear Erin's Hibiscus Paul more in summertime and this one in wintertime. Unless I'm wearing Poison, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Uh, yeah, because that's like a mm, really nice perfume this time of the year, especially. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope. I hope you enjoy this video and last but not the least I want to wish you a happy new year 2021 I hope it's gonna bring you joy happiness and lots of fun and just strive for your goals even if corona is gonna be around for a while I hope you can do the best of it and enjoy it and take very good care everyone bye bye